Hey guys, welcome back to Tracy's Place. I am doing my first grocery haul of the year and I just went to Kroger's. I didn't go to Aldi's this time, but I got a pretty decent sized haul because I had not been to the grocery store in a while and it was time to stock up on a few things, especially that cheese over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, my total was $102.92 and I had a few coupons as you can see over here, not many. Uh, it was not a mega event or anything necessarily going on. I put these coupons, well, giving the lady these coupons, and I thought I I got the wrong, um, what do you call it, peanuts. So they couldn't use that one. And I'd only gotten one of these, and you had to get two packages of the dinner sausage and able to get the coupon offer. And I got two peppers and not three. So they gave me these back. They said, lady, no. <laughs> So anyway, they gave me a couple substitutions. They didn't have the Alexia sea salt uh, sweet potato fries, so they gave me Simple Truth, which those, I don't know if they have the sea salt on them. I don't think so, but anyway, I hope they taste good. I'll just put my own salt on them. The Doritos, they didn't have the size that I requested, and um, Jalen likes those with her dip, so I was, that's what I was getting those for. Um, they gave us the family size for the same price, so that was great. So let me get on into the haul. All right, I'm gonna start back here on the left. I got some milk, 2% milk. I got some Parmesan cheese, Italian blend cheese, pizza blend cheese, sharp, two sharps, and one, oop, one Kobe Jack shredded cheese. We use a lot of, of shredded cheese and different recipes and stuff that I make, so I like having that. And then sometimes, as you all know, I just do my tortilla chips and, and melted cheese on them in the microwave at nighttime when I'm wanting something, you know, satisfying, but I can't eat anything big. And that sharp shredded cheese is so good on it. So anyway, I got a lettuce. I got two ears of corn, uh, some broccoli, two heads of broccoli. Um, let's see what else. Cilantro and kale. And they did pretty good with the produce because of course, like I said, I used the click list. And um, I don't like people picking my produce. I love to do it myself. That was one issue I had with doing the click list anyway. But they did pretty good on, on most things. A couple of things they did not. Um, the mushrooms here. And I got two stalks of green onion. Um, go back this way to tilapia. I got the family size tilapia. They're frozen. I got the, again, the six Salisbury steaks. The kids like those um but coming around here the first of the year i'm about to start slimming down on stuff because we need to eat better uh here's the sweet potato whoops the sweet potato fries that they substituted so we'll see how those taste and i just hope they're not lacking in flavor that's all i uh, got some um syrup some blue bonnet margarine we use um margarine and butter depending on the recipe to kind of switch out with both. Uh, I got two yogurts, two strawberry yogurts for our smoothies. Got some um, original, I'm sorry, the orange juice, the regular orange juice, pulp free. Got some grape juice concentrate, and that tastes really good. Uh, let's see what else. Jimmy Dean's turkey sausage for Chris. And y'all, just a quick thing about these frozen, or um, not frozen, but these refrigerated sausage patties and links. Always test out different ones. Um, this Jimmy Dean, they taste good, but uh, we just tried or just bought some Butterball ones. I think they're new. It's the first time I'd seen them. We got them at Walmart last week. So we're going to be trying those, and I'll try to come in and let you all know which ones taste the best. Um, and, you know, a lot of the sausage and things has fillers and stuff like that. So try to look for the ones that are more healthier and that look the best sometimes i just don't like the way these jimmy deans look but when we have these at church they are so good they buy them in bulk at our church um when we have like breakfasts and stuff at church and but they buy theirs from sam's and they look a lot better than the ones from kroger's i don't know why they look different but um anyway and they taste better from sam's so but i just don't buy them you know in bulk like that um, so maybe I'll, I'll try doing that. So I'll just have them on hand for 
you know, breakfast for my husband. So anyway, that's just a tip on the sausage. Just try out different ones and, you know, check the ingredients and also what they look like and compare the taste. Got some ground turkey here. Two tortilla chips and I had a coupon for that. Coupon for the classic ripple style potato chips. Uh, almond breeze, milk for our smoothies. Uh, the taco seasonings. We're doing a dip. My sister-in-law, one of my husband's sisters, does a dip. And I um, think I might kind of mix it with her recipe and then Jalen's Rotel recipe and see what I come up with. So anyway, I got taco seasoning, got bacon, the butterball dinner sausage, smoked sausage, got some salted peanuts, sea salt, and I hope those are good. I think, okay, yeah, okay salted peanuts and got some bananas and this was the apples that they, oop, that they picked out for me y'all gonna hear me go oop, a lot <laughs> I dropped the line I would have picked one that was more red so and then I have a little dent right here I don't care for so I don't know how they tell them to pick things out if like I don't know if they're young kids doing it or older I would pick people's you know things out like I was getting it for myself so you just hope for that but of course that don't always happen I got two limes and I dropped one of them rolled down so anyway I had two of these this I would not have gotten this pepper if I was picking out stuff for people wouldn't have gotten that one but that's the green pepper and this is an orange uh, bell pepper I did fine with that uh, let's see, I got ragu, double cheddar, and that goes in the recipe for the dip. Uh, my nine grain bread that I like to eat for breakfast, make toast out of that. I got the, this is my favorite toothpaste, the Crest Deep Clean Mint, uh, Pro Health Advanced, I like that. And I like, okay, those are the Doritos, family size or party size. They substituted and they were $4.99, but because they were out of the size that I requested, they gave it to us at the the um, price that I had requested. So these were $4.99, but I got them for $2.99. So that was good. Um, instant rice, got some ketchup. I got two of the traditional mild sauces for the dip. I uh, got some white corn here. I'm sorry, is this white? White and gold corn. Sweet white and gold corn. Got some, and I usually, we do that with tacos. Got diced tomatoes here um, to go in the recipe. There's some plain ones, and then these are with green chilies. And then I got a green chili, just a small thing of it for the recipe for the dip. And I got three refried beans that goes for the dip. I got some green tea, mandarin orange, it tastes so good. And I got some white bread and for, you know, the family sandwiches or whatever. They like white toast and stuff. Um, got some foam plates, paper plates, because as you all see, we come and go. We come and go, come and go. We go on all the time. So it's not always conducive for any of us to be doing the dishes all the time even though we you know the kids are dishwashers for the most part i do them sometimes but we don't use our dishwasher like that so when we are on on the run and i don't want to put a lot of dishes in the sink we do paper plates and i do cotton swabs i like to do the cardboard ones not the plastic ones because the plastic ones bend real easy and i like these to stay stiff yeah i still do um cotton swabs for my ears i do i know it's not right and the doctors say don't do it and stuff but oh goodness <laughs> and of course use them for other things but yeah i use q-tips still for my ears and yeah anywho um i think i said i had ground turkey so yeah that was everything that was everything you guys uh so i will let you all know how the dip comes out i may do a recipe on it and let you all know how it tastes if I blend the two recipes. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. My family does not like when I try new things and, and vary from the, my recipes and stuff like that. Let me just mess it up, mama. <laughs> just keep making my husband say the same thing. Just when we say something's good, 
keep it like that and stop going on, you know, different variations. So, y'all, but I like to try new things. So, we'll see what we can do. All right. Anyway, y'all be blessed. And I hope y'all enjoyed this haul. It's the first one of the year, 2020. Thumbs this up, please. I'd appreciate it. Thumbs this video up. If you are new here, subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the Tracy's Place family. If you are an oldie buddy goodie, welcome back. Love you all. And y'all be blessed and have a wonderful, wonderful day. All right. Bye.